Thanks for Misha. Well, tomorrow, friends and family members will say goodbye to 12 year old Jocelyn Nungary. After she was brutally murdered, her body found in a North Houston bayou earlier this month. Fox 26 is Sherman Desell joining us live from the Harris County Jail with what the mayor said at City Council this morning and a timeline of how we got here. Sherman. Yeah, good evening. Uh, we're reporting live from HPD headquarters tonight, and, and J Mayor John Whitmire credited the police department for their pursuit and justice for this horrible case. Both of the men facing uh, suspected uh, murder charges are facing $10 million bonds. There's a lot that's happened in the last couple of weeks, so here's a quick review. We want to warn you some of the details in this case, graphic and disturbing. Horrible. Horrible act of crime doesn't get any worse. Uh, I would like to thank our Houston Police Department for the pursuit and bringing the suspects to justice. Uh, it's as bad a set of circumstances and crime that I've seen in a long time. Those suspects, 22-year-old Johan Jose Martinez Rangel and 26-year-old Franklin Pena, are charged with capital murder. Here's a brief timeline of what happened. Sunday, June 16th, the family of 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungary say the girl snuck out of her home late that night. Hours later on June 17th, Nungary's body was found in a bayou on West Rankin Road that next morning. Police say her hands and feet were bound. She was found with Without clothing from the waist down and marks on her body indicated she was dragged and strangulated. She was only 12 and um, she deserved way better than this and she was so sweet, so kind. Police say surveillance cameras from the bayou, eyewitness statements and recorded confessions from Rangel and Pena led to their arrest for her murder. Both men from Venezuela entered the country illegally, and police say they admitted to being with Jocelyn the night of her death. Both suspects were given $10 million bonds, but even if they could make that bond, they won't go free since they're on an ice hold. District Attorney Kim Ogg recently told the press that neither suspect currently face the death penalty, but that could change if further evidence such as kidnapping or sexual assault is confirmed. Jocelyn's funeral services are set for tomorrow. Fox 26 plans on covering this. We will bring you uh, the latest information on this on fox26houston.com and Fox Local. will be streaming there tomorrow. And in the meantime, not only has this story gained national attention, but it's also brought up a national heated debate around immigration policy. So we'll get into that on the News Edge at 10. Reporting from HPD headquarters, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.